Hello everybody. My name is David and this is Only My Opinion. Check. Today I'm going to build a green screen window, an imaginary window to put in my basement. I've never tried this before but it just seems like it's a good idea and since I haven't seen anybody do it I don't know if this is going to work or not. So let's let's see together if this works. Well you might know the day I decide to put a window in my basement it's going to rain. But that's okay. We can change it to something else. And if we don't like that one, we can change it to something else. I think I need to throw one in for Mike. So there you go, Mike. Hey, if you want to see how I built this imaginary window, stick around. That's coming up next. All right, I started this off. I picked up a piece of foam board at Walmart. I picked up a piece of poster board at Walmart and we're going to make an imaginary window. Now I've never made an imaginary window before, but what I'm going to attempt to do is put this piece of uh, poster board on the foam board and just to hold it in place, I'm going to put a couple of little pieces of scotch tape on here and it doesn't matter where you put it, I just put it on there to hold the poster board and the foam board in place while I do this other stuff. So what the plan is, is to make this look like window panes on here and you can use whatever colors you want. They make uh, duct tape and wood grain and all sorts of colors. I'm just gonna use white. I just wanna see if this idea works. You can mark this out and uh, lay it out any way you want. I'm gonna try for six window panes so I'm going to go thirds one way and a half the other and I just put a couple of little ink dots on here so I'd know where it was just to make it just to make it square and this can hang over a little bit on the ends so let me get the rest of these done and I will be right back so I have my panes laid out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the border on here. And this is just your uh, plain old cheap duct tape. Well, there's probably a right way and a wrong way to do all of this. This is the way I did it today. You can kind of see the overlap in the white, but when we do the green screen, I think the effects are gonna make the white not so noticeable. We'll see. I'm going to go put this on the wall somewhere, and uh, we'll see what this thing does. Hey, if you enjoyed this, uh, give me a thumbs up or something, and uh, maybe subscribe to the channel. If you want to see how I edit this in LumaFusion, let me know. Throw something in the comments. I'll try to get to that. It works in other programs, too. LumaFusion just happens to be the one that I use. So, I've got a couple other videos that are going to pop up here if you want to check some of the other stuff on my channel out. And if not, if you subscribe and you want to see this other stuff, I'll catch you down the road somewhere. Take care. Appreciate you watching.